Hey guys, this is Fun V, and I'm back with another priestess video. So today I got the potato duel, and I'm so happy because I love how they abuse my portals. They are amazing. And I edited these two matches into this video. I hope you guys will like it. It was really fun. So I'm excited. Let's get started. So, uh, Hunter spawn at Cornfield. There should, uh, we should be in a uh, oh, shape. I'm at around the lakes so everyone else is kind of spread out around the small boat. Mm. So I think uh there's noise in the middle, I'm at the lakeside, perfumer is being chased around the different pallets. Mm. So I'm just waiting for my portal to be ready and then I tend to, to cowboy to pick it up. Priestess, uh, I guess before I used to think that maybe it's better for me to get the portal to save it, but mm, it's honestly better to give it to the person that's further or that's away from you so then, they, then these portals have more meaning to them and sometimes those far, really far portals give that opportunity for your teammates to relocate you'll be able to pick them up after they're being saved from the chair. So, as you can see over here, the hunter wants to force the mercenary to save early, but the mercenary used his skills, so the hunter failed to do that, and he was able to get it before half. Normally, the mercenary want to try to um, save by taking only one hit, because it would take two obviously you're going to get down, but then it also drags down the cypher stuff. Over here, the hunter chose not to hit the portal because if he did, uh, the perfumer will be able to run away. So over here, I gave my server to cowboy, so I was around the middle. Mm, I think I wanted to finish the mercenary cipher, and then I realized that priest, a perfumer can go through my portal, so I went to heal her. A uh, hunter, the hunter didn't see us for a moment, and when he saw us, we already healed up. So. Uh, the good thing, one of the good things about Chris is that she has a really fast healing rate, I think so, for herself. Mm, it doesn't really matter if I died. It would have been better if the hunter actually just hung me, but the cowboy was like right there as well. So he got he, I think the hunter thought if he came and hung me, the cowboy would distract him and put me under the two. And the perfume will be able to actually run away. So I'm just getting healed right outside while the perfume is kiting. Okay, I got it. And over here, I came for the same. And now I went to Lakeside again to create another portal. It's always best to use your super portals as soon as you're ready because. A lot of the times, especially on big maps, having these portals really gives that benefit of cutting the distance between ciphers, between your teammates, and it, since the hunter can't go through them, so it makes it a lot of time for the hunter. And if they carry teleport and use that on uh, the super portals, it's pretty much a, mm, I wouldn't say a waste of skill, but something that is really worthy. To make the hunter use their skills. Mm. Right here. I think one of the problem here is that the hunter was facing his back was facing the cowboy. That's why the his skills in this. Otherwise, the cowboy should have been able to actually get him. Over right here, I'm making the portals upstairs. Uh. I was told that the hunter was chasing after a cowboy, so I went for the save. Again, I'm carrying Tide, three layers of heal, and just some random other points on, <coughs> on cold. And was, oh, and also seeing the hunter after um, the cyphers are popped. So I told my team that 
the super portal is here and she can cross it. So I told her to come over here to the corner. So it makes the hunter takes long take longer to actually find us. And since all the cyphers are popped on this side, the hunter cannot teleport to us. So he can only walk here. And there's a medical miracle. <laughs> healing master yes that's me <laughs> th that's why you should carry like sweeter doctor in my opinion mm, i'm seeing some people carrying i think one layer of uh palette boost like some i've been watching stream one of my sweeter streamers not sure what he's carrying but I'm gonna find out. I went to his messages to ask about. It. Okay, focus on the game. The hunter f kept on going for the perfumer. If he tunnels the perfumer to death, it's gonna be something like above a tie. Like at least a tie for the hunter if he's able to actually hang her, because the perfumer is dead on chair. Mm, Cowboy is helping so I made a super portal on my end to help the mercenary decode. So I told Perfume that if she wants to, she can actually use that super portal if she can make it there. Probably not at this position. But uh, luckily, the cowboy still has his skills. Um, me and the mercenary are already decoding it. Mm, so over here, the cowboy one of the same he will take two hits for the person that he's carrying if that character is a female character. So normally, <clears throat> it might have been better if he dropped Perfumer, but Perfumer is dead on chair so he didn't really want to risk it. Mm, and especially when there's a pallet right there. So it would have gave Perfumer a little more time to kite. So Perfumer is taking the hunter away from the gates. So if you're dead on chair and you know that the hunter is going to tunnel you to death, please take the hunter away from the, like any doors. Just stay away from all the doors so your teammate wouldn't get uh, disturbed while they're, de they're working on the gates. So over here, mm, the mercenary and I went to the gates immediately so our gates went open. And in terms of cowboy, even though teleport is ready, um, the hunter couldn't teleport immediately because the perfumer wasn't hung yet. Okay, so for next game, we have 26th guard on lake side again. <laughs> Victim number two. A uh, priesthood I spawned around the shack as well as the perfumer. <clears throat> hunter spawned lake side. So normally for me, I don't like going to the shack because it's one of the two places that the hunter will always go to. Uh, one being like the front gates, I don't know where he's going right now, if he's on that big side, the other one being the shack. So I told my team that, okay, I feed the 26 guard, saw a shadow of him. I'm, I'm thinking whether or not should I put a super portal right here, just in case the hunter has a teleport. Then I decided not to, and I placed it near, near my cipher, just in case the hunter came to me, and I don't want to get hurt. So it's kind of my escape path as well. If I didn't have a sea portal, I would put a long portal right here to mm, what I see right before me, but since I have the sea portal, I decided to save up on my portals. That where the <coughs> super portal is and is running straight for a super portal because he knows that if he doesn't go through a super portal he might end up dying really so as I as soon as I see him I followed up with him to give him his heal. The hunter didn't want to use his trump card at this moment <coughs> so he decided to walk over here and everyone's at big size so after we healed up the cowboy, the one should go 
go in different directions, just in case. <sighs> okay, but to be fair, just just in case the hunter comes after us and then it's like three people hiding around. That's terrible. Mm. Especially when there's a four on the team. <clears throat> if you change the teleport really early, uh, you might not be able to actually work with the mm, work against the forward. But I wouldn't say that the forward counters 26 card very much because if you can place a two second bomb right in front of him, and that would stop the forward from being able to mm, uh, use his football against him. to actually use this kind of bomb that counts down while he is hanging someone so something to be careful about. The last three ciphers for this game would be the cipher at the corner, the one in the middle as well as the one in the big boat. I put a paper portal towards the big boat to give it back to the human. So, over that, uh, after you finish the big boat, please help me finish the middle so I can finish the corner cipher. So while, so while you're playing the game, please um, understand where all your ciphers are. Don't make do the extra ciphers. I mentioned this before, but it's something that a lot of people don't pay attention to. And it gets it gets very annoying at the end because then you realize that oh there's 50 percent on this cipher another another 40 on that cipher but if you had all of these mm, decoding processes on one cipher then you would have be able to like finish the last cipher already oh it's it's really obvious but sometimes people don't pay attention to that and it makes the game a lot harder but to be fair so while the um i think i told perfumer that just in case the hunter is going for a corner side you should go to lake side or whatever i can't remember but over here the cutting of, uh the cutting around the main game um i remember i think i told the perfumer that uh, because the floor is injured, so you might need to do the save and I'll prime the cypher, even though I still have my time. But then the cowboy was able to abuse my portal again. And I was able to just pop the cypher as soon as they told me to. And by this time, I just said, oh, when I said cyber prime, I was at like around 97 ish. But there's still a 10%. For priestess on her decoding. Mm. So, it took me a little longer. It was fine, it didn't really matter. Mm, the forward was only Ham once, so it, we will make it to him regardless of what the hunter is doing. As soon as the hunter teleports, I use my portals to make it to the forward immediately. And while the hunter did not see the cowboy who was also at the shack, we didn't really know that to be honest, but um Perfume was kiting at the shark. Oh <laughs> But at this point, it's pretty much a win, unless the hunter can insta down the perfumer. But from what we saw before, the hunter did not have any detention, so that's pretty much impossible to insta down a perfumer. And it's a stream, man. Mm. A funny side story <laughs> after the first game. Um, we actually reversed the order of these two games, uh, but after the Ripper game against um, four, I don't know how to translate the name in English. Um, 
well, he said on the simplify Chinese channel that cowboy plus racist is all P. It's just unfair. I thought it was really funny, so I told the potatoes about it too. And they thought it was pretty funny. Oh well, love y'all. Bye.